Hello Zebra and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. It has been a good little while since I've last played, but I wanted to get back into this game because of course it's always a really fun, good time. And we were talking about talking to this Goron that's in the way of this shrine and I really want to complete this, that way we don't have to travel all the way back out here from there. Would be a bit of a pain in the butt, so I figured we'll just go ahead and do it and then maybe we'll do something a little bit different in today's episode. Maybe we'll try one of these mazes. I've been meaning to do it for a while, so let's go ahead and try um, one of these training things. So let's do this thing. Collect 100 rupees as you climb hardcore Goron man should be able to handle that no problem. If Even if you reach the goal before the time is out, if you don't grab enough rupees, you fail. Don't fail, brother. Got it? Good. Then it's finally time for Gotcha Challenge. Go! Okay, sure. So we'll try this out. I don't think I can glide or anything. I don't know. But we need to collect 100 rupees before we get to the top, which might be a little bit difficult. I might want to like immediately pause the game, actually, in hindsight, because if I could get... Oh, I already have my climbing gear on. Perfect. So... Yeah, let's get up. We need to get 100 rupees, so this should help. Grabbing that right there. So two rupees into our 100. And if there's anything on top of the platforms, we should probably get those as well. And we have a little less than three minutes to get up there, so wait, hold on. No, no, no. And this, oh my gosh. Might even want to just retry already. <laughs> this might take a couple attempts, no matter how, whoa my gosh. Especially since I haven't played in a while. This might take a couple attempts. Oh no. Come on, ready? Ready, set, jump, and then jump again, and then just get up here, Link. Get that one rupee, that's all I wanted. All this work for one singular rupee. But of course, the closer we get to the top, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure we can't glide up with that stuff. Like, I'm pretty sure they'll just like disqualify us or something. Okay, got it, keep moving. Oh, perfect, so we can go ahead, follow oh, 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 this pattern a little bit. So it's not always about choosing what's fastest, but what's the most effective, you know? So I can go ahead and grab that, keep moving up, just like this, grab that, go up like that. Very good so far, oh, red rupee. Okay, I definitely want that, but I also wanna make sure everything's fine. I like this song, it's very like Nintendo 64-like, in my opinion. Got it, I need to let the stamina refill. Or at 21 rupees, that's gonna get me 20 of them. Wow, okay, so now we just doubled the amount of rupees we have. These give us five, I think, so if we go up this way, we should be able to get another one. No! <laughs> Link! Link, turn around! Buddy, you know what then? I need to, I need to use the gliding. Where is that? Is that cheating? Will they disqualify me? I mean, it might not even bring me up as much as I want it to. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, is there like a restart button? Because I need it. Come on, Link, what's your problem? Dude, just turn around while you're gliding. Why is that so difficult for you? It's probably a loss then. It'd be nice if I could keep the rupees. It'd be a great way to earn up some cash. But no, I'm pretty sure you can. Ugh, I'm the worst, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, land here, wait it out. And there's like this other ways to get rupees though, so I could at least follow those paths up to make up for it. Uh, it just won't be too much, you know? And that's the problem. Let's go ahead and try to climb up this a little bit. Uh, I gotta go for the five. Gotta go for the five. We have 36 seconds. Even if I was able to just magically get to the rupee count I need, like you can see there's a couple red ones. There's three red ones. I gotta get 100 rupees, right? So three red ones right there, that's 60. So if I could just find a way to get 40 by the time we get over to here, and I see another red one right there. Next time, maybe I should take this route instead. Cause, oh, and there's another one here. No! You know what? I can't believe I just wasted Mipha's grace. Can't believe it. Oh my gosh, I'm just gonna let the 10 seconds time out. I am really embarrassed, but I know exactly where to go now. I just need to not be awful at the game. <laughs> I feel like this guy right here on the floor. Oh, what do you think you're doing, brother? You went over the time limit. I know it seems harsh, but I can't let you keep those rupees. You didn't earn them. Okay, tough luck, my minuscule friend, but I'll be waiting if you wanna uh, take uh, the challenge again, don't let me down. Don't just star me, oh my gosh, it's so unfair. Don't just star me back here. I worked hard to get up there in the first place. Oh, you little stinker. Or very, very large stinker. Ah, uh, come on, that's not cool. That That's just developing oversight. So let's just go ahead and try to get back up there. I don't wanna have to use Revali's gal for this, but I'm getting really tempted. But yeah, this way is harder to climb up, but I think I already did it. I think I already climbed up here once. So if I jump up one more time, please don't sl slide yet, please don't slide yet. Oh, Link. Oh, Link, my friend. 
you are falling lower on the totem pole of people I consider my friend at the moment. <laughs> Come on. So I actually can glide all the way up to the, okay, that's my fault then. I take it back, Link. I was just being a total jerk. I don't know what's with me today. I'm just awful. Uh, oh, you know what's one thing I noticed? No, no, that has a rock as well, but it's on the other side. You know, this is probably a, uh, a thing right here. No, not there. Hold on. Whoop, like that. Yeah, that's a Korok seed. It was on the opposite side of all the other ones. So I was like, hey, well, why don't we fix that really quickly? And we'll get a Korok seed four. We're up to six, which isn't too much. Uh, but we're gonna talk to you and see if we can't do any better this time. 20 rupees, at least 20 rupees isn't all that much. I mean, maybe if I do collect the 100 rupees, I get to keep it. That wouldn't be too bad of a, you know, money gaining thing. You get 80 rupees per three minutes. That's not too bad. If you did that for 15 minutes, you'd already have like what? Uh, 400 rupees, something like that. Anyways, uh, so we'll try from this way to start things off because it's sort of obvious to go this way, you know? And then I can jump up a couple ways like this. And then I don't have to worry about so much these green rupees. I'm only taking them because I'm waiting for my stamina to refill anyways. But I already know where there's gonna be a lot of red rupees, right? So just gotta be careful on these platforms. I can grab this one, but we're gonna go this way instead. Because this one I know had a bunch of red rupees. So if we take this direction, gotta be careful with how I'm using my climb. Don't wanna use all my stamina at once. But if we just get to this blue one, once again, we already get 18. So if I grab this one, we'll be at 23. And then I see three rupees, that'll be, or three red rupees, that'll be 60 rupees. And there's another one right there. And then there's another one right here. So that's definitely the, the 20 rupees each we need for 100. So as long as I can just get up here and not do something really silly. I already have, oh, 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 no, 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 no. Okay, okay, we can make it again. It's a really weird little platform. It's super easy to fall off of. It has those like trapezoid shape where it you know, points inward. Got it, okay. Red rupees, we're already 44. That's a really good number. The problem is this one's obviously much more of a challenge when it comes to the stamina, and you really need a lot of stamina or this quick climbing shirt that we have, or both. <laughs> I think in my situation, definitely both. Okay, so we're gonna get that red, that blue rupee, and we should be able to get it all the way up there, I think, in two minutes, or a minute and a half. I think so. Especially since this is enough of a slant, I think that we can walk on it. We're about to find out. No, not quite. If it was slightly more slanted, I think we could. Can we use Revali's Gale? I don't think we can. I mean, we can use Miva's Grace when we fall to our doom. Oh, well. We're almost there. We got this one red rupee, just like this. And then, as long as I can just collect that one as I go up, which I should be able to, because we still have our full stamina bar just to get up like this, I don't need the extras, I don't think. I mean, if I could get them, like if that actually added to like rupees that I get as a reward, it'd be awesome, I don't think it does. Um, and I don't really care as much as I just want to succeed so that we can get the shrine. There we go, red rupee, and then jump! Got it, and run to him, run to him. He cheered me on, Go! 40 seconds to spare, that was glorious. Nice going, brother. Now let's see how many rupees are scored. Looks like you got 112 rupees. Unbelievable. You've passed our training with the grit of a true Goron, my brother. In fact, you've earned the right to call yourself the fourth Goron blood brother. As promised, you are now allowed to stand on the sacred platform of Goron manliness, a real honor, I know. Uh, you're officially one of us now, our true Goron brother, brother. Welcome to the family. And good news, fourth brother, that means you get to, uh, can do the gut ch check challenge all you want. Uh, as a Goron blood brother, you're, you've already, you're ready for the hard stuff. Just let me know if, you, if you're pumped enough to try it. I am not, don't know if you got anything for it, but we got the gut check challenge complete. We don't get those rupees back then? Uh, we do get the rupees back. Before I had less than, uh, I had about 800. So you do get them back, that's actually good. Um, decent way to earn up rupees if we ever wanna try that a bit more, maybe when I get more stamina. We could try the shrine just because I haven't done a shrine in a little while. I mean, I sort of want it more for the teleport spot, but hey, I'm here, I sort of entered it without thinking, might as well go for it. And let's see what it is. I mean, usually these ones are just a treasure chest, and that's right, it's this great tour shrine. Uh, check it out, check it out, what do we get? Oh, hopefully something good, it's a great frost blade. Don't really need it right now. <laughs> I mean, I might. Let me check out my weapons. I have 45 damage, 57. Mm, 
I have some good stuff at the moment, and we already have a great frost blade. I think I'm gonna leave it where it is. Good to know it's there, though. Gonna talk to you, get ourselves another orb. I think this is our first orb that we have um, after spending them all, but we'll find out. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, good good start. Like I said, I, I don't really know too much what I wanna do right now. That's our second orb, actually. So I'm thinking we'll just go ahead and try that maze. I don't know, like I know where to find the green dragon, but I don't know where to bring his scale. So maybe that's something we can do later in today's episode is we can try out getting that dragon again. But maybe not. Maybe we should save that for its own episode as well. I'm not really sure. I just really don't know where it's supposed to go. Because like the other two dragons we have found where we're supposed to de uh, decorate the scale or put it in the water. But this last one, I'm not really sure where the actual fountain is. So if any of you guys know, feel free to let me know. But in the meantime, I'm gonna move this way. Okay, yeah, there's a couple things I wanted to do. First, I could always teleport back up here, which I'll probably do, because I think over this way there should be, unless I'm misremembering, I thought there were some enemies to beat up. Oh, over this way, okay, we got it, we got it. So we wanna go this way, I wanted to beat these guys up because I'm pretty sure I haven't yet, that would be fun, just to get some action in. Like I said, I haven't played in a couple weeks, I've been super busy with new games, so I wanted to sort of do a little bit of everything. That's why I'm curious about the mazes, though. Okay, so a 38 damage bow is fine. Okay. Oh gosh, oh, oh, hey, you heard nothing. Okay, so I got you like that. I'm gonna go in and start slicing with the Master Sword because it's just sort of the best choice. Okay, where are you going? Way over there, seriously? Oh no, you got taken out. But all your stuff's in the water and I don't wanna get it. Okay, you saw me, don't blow the horn. Oh, you stinker. Did they hear that? Okay, there's this dude over this way. I think he's the last one. There might be another one, but I don't see him. Okay, hold on. Oh yeah, there's a purple and white one over there that doesn't quite see me yet. Got you, and I think we took you out. Not bad. So this Moblin Club is actually pretty damaging. More than 30 is usually pretty decent for a club like that. I'll probably start with the Royal Claymore though. This guy does not see me, so if I could just get a good start with like, oh, that didn't get him. Well, it didn't do what I wanted it to. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, are you serious? Are you serious, are you for real? I hit the thing behind him. Get out of here with that. You know what? Ah, yep, yep, oh, ow, okay. Thank you, dude. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, we have Flurry Rush and I'm not ready for it. Are you kidding me right now? Look at this. Ah, oh, this is not a good start. I'm definitely a little rusty. You know, let's use our great frost blade. Oh, I double frosted him there. That's not what I wanted. And let's do this. 50 damage is pretty nice for this because we can swing pretty quickly with it. And then go for him again. Boom. Nice, we got rid of him. Take that, you jerk. And you dropped the ruby, you dropped an amber. That's some pretty awesome stuff. When it comes to this Boko Club, is it better than what we already have at right, 45 damage? Not looking like it. So we're gonna leave that there. What about this? Not, oh, is this the same amount of damage? Eh, uh, not worth going for then. If we move over into here, you can see there's a treasure chest. There's a couple of boxes we'll break open for sure with our hammer. What do we get? It's a ruby, nice, okay. So let's quickly go ahead and start breaking some stuff with the sledgehammer. It looks like there's actually more enemies over that way. Did they hear me? They must have. Okay, so we're not quite done. But I do wanna go ahead and eat some food. We have a lot of food at the moment. I don't need anything crazy, so I'll just um, eat some of these sort of scrap foods we have. We'll leave it at that for now. Oh, he, this guy dropped some arrows too. Oh, the scary dudes are back this way. Guess they were on back door patrol right now. Don't you dare pick that stuff up, that's mine. These bomb arrows and everything else, all mine. So they picked up some weapons. Don't know if it's really, oh gosh, using the wrong thing. Wait, 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 ow. Yeah, they're just using rusty materials. Okay, this thing's almost broken. I might as well just use it on somebody. There we go, that was pretty good. Go back to the Master Sword for these three. I think we'll be fine. Uh. Oh, come on, that was silly. Get out of here. You know what, dude? You know what? Mm. Getcha, gotcha. And then you with your, your, your poking stick. I don't appreciate that either. So we're gonna get rid of you. Boop, gotcha. Yeah, there's just rusty materials. Nothing too exciting with that. We do have enough room for another piece of material though. So for right now though, I'm just gonna... Got him, okay, perfect. And we're just gonna do that a little bit more because he still doesn't know where I am. 38 damage should be fine. And I can do like a fire arrow for fun. Got him, okay, so now we gave you a little bit of fire. Let's give you a little bit of cold or hot and cold, you know the deal. Um, okay, so that's used up its frozenness. Go ahead and just start hitting with some of this, because you have also a boomerang. So if we use this weaker one, it'll probably give us something just as good in return, I would hope. I really hope. Come on, keep getting ya, keep getting ya. Oh, is that worse? Yeesh, that is worse. 
Okay, well we took it. How worse is it? 36 damage really isn't that great. We got a lot of different uh, stones for you though. So I, I think it balanced out a little bit when it comes to overall value. Let's move back this way. I got a couple things I wanna grab. First off, we're grabbing your food. We got the seared steak. And then over here, this water is nice and warm. Oh, it's maybe a little too warm, almost. Get that stuff. Oh. Is it healing me? Oh, hey, look at that. I guess it has some restorative properties. That is really nice. I'm sort of feel bad that I wasted my food earlier. Very cool, though. Let's go ahead and break some of these crates because we get some arrows out of it. We get some rupees. Totally, totally worth it then. Got it. Got another arrow. Got this stuff. Or we got an apple. See, this seems like a nice little camp here to definitely earn them some stuff. So I'm gonna do exactly that. Oh, hey, get out of here. Get that chew jelly. I have a feeling there's something on top of this tree specifically. I'm wrong. But I had the check. Let's get this. We got an apple. Two apples, actually. Ooh, a two for one deal. See, so yeah, there's not a ton in every single piece of this stuff, but I'm getting what I can, and that's always good. Uh, See, how much damage does this have? Is it better than this? It's not, then I'm not gonna take it. Uh, Get back to the hammer, got it, and then break this. No, don't, no, I gotta pick that stuff up soon. Oh, a purple rupee? How much is that? I don't know, I think 50? Pretty good find right there, that was lucky. And then we gotta go in here, because I, I did open up the chest. I forget what I had. Uh, oh, it was a, uh, like a ruby or something. Got an arrow. So I know this sledgehammer is badly damaged but I think it can withstand a little bit more. But I think that's everything just about. Nothing on this side. I mean, maybe I shouldn't have done that with the hammer, seeing how I do want to use the hammer against, you know, like some ore over this way. This especially is a, a golden rock, I think. Hard to tell from this angle. Maybe not, maybe not, maybe just a normal rock. Yeah, just normal, but that's still good. We broke it doing some good stuff, at the least. And I still have stuff like, I don't want to use my uh, one thing, but I can use the, the, the club, because I actually have another one of these waiting for me and it doesn't seem to use up too much of it, so that's pretty good stuff. If I could do anything else right now, ooh, what are these little fish? I'm sort of curious. It's a sizzlefin trout, okay, cool. Let us get back up here, maybe? I mean, I haven't really explored this section, like the Typhlo ruins. I don't think we've really poked around there at all. That's definitely stuff I wanna do soon, but I also wanna, like I said, poke around on the maps. Like, we have another or maze over that way. We have another maze somewhere. Uh, there's lots of stuff, so I figure we should probably go back and start one of these mazes, have some fun with that, because it's been something you guys have been requesting for a while. We might as well go ahead and give it a shot and see what ends up happening. Hopefully good stuff. Okay, so we're at the Ancient Tech Lab. Pretty cool. I do see a couple pots. I don't know if I should bother breaking those open, though. Yeah, but let's move this way and see what we can end up doing with it. I, I don't know if, like, really what will turn out of it. We might not even be able to reach it from here. But we're gonna try to find out. Cause it's right there. I think that, yeah, definitely with the um, Ervali's Gale, we should be able to get to that. Unless it's farther than it may seem. It doesn't seem like it's getting any closer, I can tell you that much. But we're moving towards it, that's for sure. If we run out of stamina, we should have some food that'll help with that. There's definitely like a shrine. And then there's some of these uh, different drones. But we dealt with some of those guys last episode, and it was fine. We should be able to just barely reach it like this. I sure hope so, because I'm gonna feel like a dingus if we just fall. But let's try to find out. Come on, come on, come on. We're making it. We've made our way through our first of two stamina bars. I know there's a shrine nearby, it's right there. This is so misty and gross and stuff. It definitely is a bit of a maze, but, I mean, it looks like the shrine's just right there. Can I walk up on it? Lome Labyrinth Island. Maybe this is a bit more complicated than I thought. And I definitely can't climb up the walls. It's raining too much for that. Okay, you who have reached this point, proceed onward through the maze and you will receive a reward. Trial of the Labyrinth, oh my. No, 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 no. You don't see me, do you? Oh, you see me all right. This is a problem. Oh, This is actually a lot more difficult than I was uh, bargaining for. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I can just go ahead and use a normal arrow and get you right between the eyes. Oh, I didn't get you right between the eyes. Oh, I didn't get you right between the eyes, be careful. Come on, ready? Oh, I got him! Hit him again! 
Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's get all up in this grill. I'm gonna use the Master Sword. We'll have 60 damage. It will, nice. Okay, so that's a very powerful weapon to have in this situation. Okay, so we knocked him over a little bit. Try to keep moving to the left so we can take care of more of his legs. And then just keep going with like the double shots and everything. He's gonna start doing some awful stuff to me soon. I gotta be careful, as you can see. Move, 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 move. Ready? Oh, no! Why'd you climb? Come on, I just wanted you to turn around, you dingus. Ah, okay, you know what? Full recovery plus eight hearts sounds like it'll help me in the long run, so let's just go for that. Okay, so you're running out of legs to walk on. Oh my gosh, dude. You know what? Can we freeze you? I can. Oh, why haven't I done this more often? I mean, I know it doesn't last very long, but it's long enough so I can go at your underbelly and then take you out, because now you're just knocked over, and I can just go like this. Come on, keep swinging, don't stop. Perfect. We got you finally, you jerk. That took way too much effort, but we did it. And we got some ancient cores, ancient screws, all that kind of good stuff. So here, like, yeah, this is sort of like the main area of the maze if we take a look at the map. Okay, so taking a look at this map, I don't know how we get up to it. If I take a look at the shrine, I can't even see it from this angle. Am I looking the right way? Yeah, it's up there. So it's like behind bars. The best way to get to it would probably be to access it from behind, right? Which would mean I would wanna go this way. No, that ends up becoming all dead ends. Unless it's, is it the grays I'm following? No, no, it's definitely like the yellow, not the darkish brown. Because if I go this way, no dice. If I go this way, no dice again. So how am I accessing? Maybe if I go from one of these side entrances, the best one I can reach is from here. And we go around to the right, and we go down this way, and then we can reach it from here. So let's go ahead and enter right here. We'll put a little stamp there so we can figure that out. Cause that's the only one that seems to have an entrance I can actually get near the labyrinth at all, or the little centerpiece. So from here, I wanna go, uh, I wanna delete this one. I don't know if this counts as cheating or not to use the stamps. I'm just trying to use the tools the game's giving me. Uh, go down this way. Uh, so I can delete this one now, and I wanna go up to this like little area where there's like sort of a centerpiece. So do that, I need to go back this way. I wish I could zoom into the map more while it's just sort of in our corner. Cause I'm going the right way for now. I gotta take a right and then our second left, and here we are. Now I don't know when there might be enemies popping up. Those little drones flying around could pop back up and be an annoyance to us at any point in time. But for right now, we'll go ahead and delete that. And this one's pretty simple. We make our way up. And then remember that right here, we gotta turn around. There's like not really too much I can mess up for this one, I don't think. I wonder if there's like any kind of like secret chest I can find. But also I've noticed it's not raining anymore. And I can't climb up these walls. Oh no, I can. That was just based on the weather. You can actually just climb on the walls and maybe even cheat. Okay. I thought they would just make it so it's like permanently raining in this area, but no. This is probably not something. But the walls like suspiciously cracked over here. Yeah, it's nothing. Okay, so this is where we need to turn around, go down, and then basically only follow the only available path. Ooh, what's with this? Is this where I'm supposed to be going? No, wait. Yeah, there's something funky going on here. What's this about? Did I just find myself like a secret entrance? I may have just. So now I'm over here. Okay, but is this like a dead end over this way? Hold on, this way, yes, is a dead end because I took the wrong one. Hop back down. I mean, I don't think I could climb up these walls even if I tried. Not with my current current stamina. Maybe with you know better stamina I could. But if I just, just go forward here, is it just straight up? Ah, ah, okay, I was not expecting that. Get you out of here. One shot is all I need. Got a little bit on fire. But I guess, you know, oh, we had a chest for it. See, that's sort of the thing. I wonder how many different chests we could find. Royal Ball Sword, 36 damage, really isn't to die for, but I'll take it, I guess, you know, if I have the room. I wonder, does every dead end have a chance of getting us something? Where can I find another little gap like that? I mean, now that I'm in this area, I could just go up and around to here, and I don't know what that's gonna get me, you know? So it's just like, crazy. There might be a lot we can find. A whole lot we can find. If we just go the correct way. So let's try to do that. I should always look down each path at least a little bit, even if I don't plan on walking down it. Um, just poking my head down to see what, what what it may offer. Could be a really good idea. This one I do want to poke down real quick. Nothing down that way. Whoa, whoa, that was that was weird. Um, yeah, there's nothing this way. This is just like straight up dead end. Okay, that's fine. That's actually better for me because it's one less area I have to worry about. Um, 
But this is where I was curious because this, oh hey, get out of here. This is where I can go into this thing. And now I'm sort of gonna be traveling blind if there's any way up. Oh, there's a chest at the least, which is cool, you're stuck against a wall. But there's no way up, which is what I was looking for. So that's sort of a shame. I will only get this chest, get these keys, eyeballs. What do we get with this? This is a silver rupee, that's awesome. We're over a thousand rupees again. But, not where I was trying to go. So even though we can figure out this maze, it doesn't help me figure out the maze. Does that make any sense? Practically, uh, this is gonna electrocute me, isn't it? Ow, it is. Made me drop my shield. Dude, you're rude. Oh, and he has friends, okay. Oh, hello. Oh. Okay, uh, let's just take care of one of them, one at a time. If this is what works, it works, it's what works. Perfect, that worked. Okay, pick up all these. I mean, it's nice that we're getting extra materials, but how do I get to what I'm trying to get to? That's where things get complicated and confusing. And I think it really is just running around. I mean, maybe I am actually going the right way and one of these times we'll just run into a ladder and then la la la, la we got it. So this is another royal bow. What bow do we have right now? 38 damage, this is equal of damage. So if I get rid of the soldier's bow, which I do not need, I can take that and that would be much better. So let's go ahead and drop this one, take the royal bow, pretty gosh darn good in that way. And like I know there's a shrine around here, game. What do you think I've been looking for? But that's really all I can find through this corridor. I would have to go back and try to find an entrance to this area. So that's where things get weird, like real weird. And I could try to climb up this. I just don't know, I mean, that's why there's drones at the top, right? To potentially punish you for trying to solve it that way. I see them. Oh, I see them, all right. So if we get up here, I don't know if I could restore my stamina from that, so we just have to try climbing it some more. We might be able to reach it. I'm trying to see if, like, can I stand on any, anything that might be able to like, restore my stamina, but I don't think so. But we should be able to actually make it up. We have half a stamina wheel still. I think we can make it. Maybe, I don't know. Come on now. Well, we're at quarter, it's gonna call it close. If I like jump for it at the very end, or if I like get some stamina food. Do I have any stamina food? I should. Uh, Low level movement speed, oh, here we go, here we go. Um, This will restore my stamina, it'll also give me some hearts. Do I have something that might give me less hearts? That'll be fine, there we go. So now I have a little bit more stamina, I should be able to make it, perfect. Okay, keep moving, Link, keep, keep moving. Ready, set, uh, jump. And there's gonna be enemies waiting for me, ready for this specific situation. Does he see me? Oh, he just barely missed me. So this is where I gotta be, for sure. But I also have to be able to make this jump. Oh, okay, scary. So where is the point of entry? Maybe the purpose really is just to climb up here. Maybe the maze is arbitrary to the goal. It's feeling like it. That's weird. Okay, well, there's some wind up here, but there is enough uh, stability for me to climb up this way. So I can go up here. There's a whole bunch of nothing up here. I was hoping maybe there's like a way down. Not really looking like it. So how do I get in? That's a part I'm having a really hard time with. How do I get into this part of the building? Everything's so, oh, there is sort of like an entry point there. But I don't wanna hop down. I do see that entry point. That might be my best bet. I don't wanna hop down until I'm positive though. Okay, so definitely not that way. I've made a major mistake though. Oh no, okay, not that big of a mistake. If I could just poke my head in there through the bars, that'd be perfect. And the link is pretty skinny. Maybe he can make it. If he just tries to squeeze through. Okay, let's try to go down this way. Oh gosh, whoa, that was weird. I was trying to pull up the glider, it didn't really work. <gasps> Here we go! So here's the weird part. Oh no, okay, so there's different ways it could have maybe, I wanna look around. Which way, how was I supposed to solve this? Was there truly a way to solve this beyond climb up the walls? I mean, that's sort of a very Breath of the Wild solution, you know? But, I just wanted to see out of curiosity. Was there truly a solution to this maze? I suppose so. I sort of find it baloney that the actual solution though is move the uh, thing. And I guess you didn't actually have to, but the wall covers it, so it's actually hard to tell that you could make your way past there. Out of curiosity though, there's a couple of them too. 
Was there anything behind that? Maybe there was like a uh, another treasure? I don't think so, but we might as well check. So I need to, no, no, I want this. Move this. Is there anything behind you? There is, here we go. Maybe I should check the other one as well then. Giant ancient core, worth my time for sure. Awesome. So yeah, let's go ahead and check out this one over this way. We have this to move. And I should be able to just squeeze between, oh look, you can squeeze between this. He's so nimble. Yeah, but from here, there's like so many different ways to go. Uh, so it might be a moot point to try to explore it, but I, I just wanted to a little bit more because I'm having fun exploring it. It's fun to poke around this maze and try to find some different stuff, especially now that I know the final end solution. I can just sort of worry about the rest. It's interesting, it's fun that there is more than one solution. You literally can just climb your way to victory in some senses. And this is just like a straight up dead end. There's nothing here for, for me. Okay, well I tried. I don't, there's so many different ways I could poke around, like what is this little square? That's sure to be something interesting with how different it looks from all the other patterns. But I don't know, I think I wanna figure out after I just get the shrine. That way if I do mess up, I need somewhere to like teleport to reset myself, I have that. I just have to not get lost on my way back over there. I think I'm going the right way. I mean, if I really, yeah, I just have to squeeze through this again. Uh, if I really get lost, just climb back up and plop back down. That would take a lot more time and be upset with myself, but it would work. So, not this way. Okay, Link, calm down a little bit. We gotta go this way. And then it should just be a straight, no, not a straight shot, but just gotta follow this linear path without any more divulsions. And we got ourselves a ladder. This ladder really blends in, so it's definitely risky. I mean, this still might not be the solution, but I'm mostly positive that it is. Okay, so some kind of vine thing going that way. I can't go through vines. I don't think there's a way to cut them either. Uh, hello, should be able to get rid of you two though. So, I got a master sword, don't you worry. Got some of that. But yeah, not only can we get a shrine out of these, I can get you know some good rewards. We got 100 rupees, we got a couple of other things as well. We got a new bow, that's awesome. Not a new bow, but at least a new, uh, like not a new to me, but at least you know a fresh one, which is good. So, Trial of the Labyrinth completed. Is there anything like hidden behind here? Not really, but we completed it, the Trial of the Labyrinth. Now, I don't know if these will actually have any kind of a uh, solution to them, or if they're just gonna be a treasure chest one and done kind of thing. Let's go ahead and find out. And that'll be the most enjoyable solution, is just to go in and see if we can't get some free stuff. Cause if so, we're already three orbs into our next stamina upgrade, which would be fantastic. Okay, so, yep, there we go. Tukalo's blessing. Well, thank you, Tukalo. What do we get? We got a barbarian helm? What is this thing? A helmet once worn by the warriors of an ancient warlike tribe from a foreign, foreign region. Okay, wearing it draws out your inner animal, increasing your strength and battle prowess. What a cool gear. I didn't even know that was a thing. Maybe we can find more of those by doing more of the mazes. That would be awesome. But for now, let's go ahead and check this out. Uh, we get an extra orb, which will be fantastic. And more importantly, we can move on. Awesome, we get our spirit orb. And we're only you know, half an hour in today's episode. We could do another maze. We could try to do two of them in today's episode, two next episode, because I think there's four mazes in total. So that'd be pretty good. Uh, so yeah, we should probably just get to that and see what ends up happening. Okay, so we're back. These guys are moving all over the place. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where are we going? Oh, I guess this is, whoa, we're under the maze. What is with this place? Oh, this is bizarre. So we can get some ancient gears from these guys, um, other ancient tech as well, so we might as well try for that. But what is the point of all this except for some ancient materials? I don't know. There is something this way. This is crazy weird. I was about to just skedaddle out of here. There's something we can get. There's a treasure chest, they're just waiting for us right here. Perfect, ancient shaft. Now one thing some people suggested that I do is pull out the camera and take a picture of a treasure chest. And whenever I do that, and if I set that to the Hyrule Compendium, this is something I should have done a while ago, is there's a lot of things you can take a photo of. A lot of things, like a decayed guardian right there. Um, those kind of things can be helpful for your Hyrule Compendium. This is also a decayed guardian, but it's not gonna show me that one. Well, I guess there's more. There's like a guardian stalker. And we wanna do that, and this is something I probably should have done when the, you know, it was introduced to me. 
because we can set this to our thing. And so instead of shrines, when it starts beeping, we can set it to treasure chests. So thank you to those who uh, suggested that. But look at this, it's a diamond circlet, uh, a luxurious headpiece sold at Gerudo Jewelry Shops. Uh, it's decorated with a diamond which harnesses the power of light to reduce damage received from ancient enemies. So guardian resist up. Very, very interesting. Oh, hello! Hi! You didn't like that I took that. What is this, Indiana? This is Indiana Jones! This is, okay! Uh, calm down. We can do this. Run, run quick, run quick, run quick, run quick. They're all gonna shoot. I'm gonna go for you though. Boom, I'm gonna hide behind you and we're gonna go for you, buddy. You are gonna get taken down super quick. Oh, there's, there's a couple more. Hold on. Um, okay, so this isn't working as much as I wanted it to, but he's about to explode, so there's one done. Okay, we can do this. I know we can, I believe in ourselves. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Oh no, they're all alive. This isn't fair. This isn't fair, why are they all alive? Okay, go back, eat some food. I need some extra health for this one, that's for sure. Boing, I'm gonna knock you out, and then we're gonna use you as cover as I beat you up. But everyone's gonna attack you, and that's gonna take you out. My Master Sword is running low on energy. Well, that's not good timing. You have a lot of health, uh, by the way. Okay, so I need something else. We're gonna go ahead and move over to this level, or 50 damage thing. Um, holy cow, I didn't realize it was gonna go all Indiana Jones on me. Why do you get to move? Um, hold on, hold on, hold on, move, move, move. Wow, dang it, you're so rude. I can't handle all of it, ow, that's not fair. Let me up, let me up. Come on, ready? Ah, I missed, hold on. Gotcha, okay, that's perfect. So these guys aren't attacking me anymore, maybe because they don't want to attack their friend. Our Trazel, Li our Lizel Tri Boomerang is almost broken, but that's fine. Okay, so let's go ahead and get another one out, because that one broke. I just gotta be careful, but then I need to also eat some food while I have the chance, like this will give me some extra stuff. Um, then I'll just like eat this to get the rest of it. Okay, maybe I should, you know what, maybe I should equip that. Oh, wrong button, sorry, hold on. Let's get some different gear on. That would probably help as well. I don't need to be sneaky right now. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is get the new circlet. Guardian resist up might be good. And then we should get our higher level gear on. That should be great. So keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. It's only this guy attacking me for right now. But there might be more soon, so I gotta be ready. Got him. Okay, Daruk is gonna protect me. That's awesome, thank you, Daruk. Go ahead and start with this. Actually, let's go ahead and start with this. It might not do very much damage at the moment, but I don't need it too much because these guys are just uh, on the floor without any legs, which means they have a lot less health. Holy cow. Oh, there's more, there's more, there's more. I did want to, can I take pictures of these? I can't, but I can take pictures of you. Smile. <laughs> okay, that didn't actually do anything. Delete it, because I already had that. Uh Oh gosh, your friends are back. Okay, so I got you knocked out, which is good. Jeez, we're gonna get rid of every single one of them. They're all going down, for sure. Come on, gotcha. And then I'm gonna have to go and pick up all of these, but it'll be 100% worth it, because we can either sell these, or we can use them for different materials. So, you know what, dude? Go ahead and try, see so you miss. These guys are a lot easier to dodge, especially when there's not like seven of them attacking you. Um, that's not damaging me for some reason. This is, though, or not damaging him. Of course it's not damaging me. Come on, come on, come on. Got him. Is that it? Is that all you got, you evil labyrinth of doom? I hope, but that not, might not be true, like you. Oh, you're gonna start moving. Okay, so I'm just gonna go for you. I'm gonna immediately break your leg. I don't wanna do that again. Break a leg, buddy. What is with your, your tiptoeing you got going on here? <laughs> you're just getting your morning stretch in? You just woke up for the day? This dude's all kinds of creepy. Okay, so this thing is badly damaged. That's fine. I'm just gonna go ahead and toss it at him then. Oh, no, you don't, no, you don't. Gosh darn it. Why am I bad? Okay, uh, he has a second or two. Also, is it like a thunderstorm outside? I don't think we can get electrocuted from here, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Um, you know what, dude, stop backing up. Stop that. Come on, oh, that actually hit me. I am not a big fan, gotta be honest. Am I out of arrows? Got him, okay, so we should be able to get him with this. There we go. So there's that done. Who else is still kicking and is just pretending they're not? Because I'm gonna take you out. Is it all of them? There's definitely a thunderstorm. Is the thunderstorm making its way in? It's really hard to tell. Did I break my shield? I must have. Okay, so we'll go ahead and pull the night shield out. I mean, I'll search you guys for gears and stuff, but man, what a chain of events. Like, you can see rain falling, but there's clearly no roof, so I think it's just sort of like an oversight. <laughs> Interesting. Hey, that guy over there with the legs, he's probably still kicking. I should probably take a couple more out while I can, especially since I have the attack up bonus. 
So let's try to go for a couple more guys. Like this dude, let's just try to attack him and see what happens. Nothing. So you're for real, you're, you're, you're just, you're not alive. Okay, what about you? You're probably kicking, look at those legs. All over the place? No, well I don't trust it. I'm gonna take your gears. You know what really grinds my gears? These guys do. <laughs> Anyways, let's move over this way. What about you, huh? You got anything to say? Thought so. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and grab whatever gears were dropped by the guardians we did defeat, and we'll move on with that. I see a couple of them over that way. And that should be nice and good. What an interesting turn of events. I was not expecting a little um, undead guardian nest under here, and it was as intense as you would imagine. So yeah, we got a couple more screws this way. I might be even able to go back to the tech lab. The problem is I don't have any real money to get anything valuable from it. I mean, I wanna get the gear next. I mean, I think the gear's like 10,000 each, right? It's like crazy expensive. Why don't we swing by and find out? I'm gonna go ahead and delete that stamp, and we're gonna move this way, and teleport on over, because I really don't think there's too much I can do here. I could try to really comb the place through and get a couple more pieces of gear. I don't think it's warranted at the moment, though. So we're just gonna move on from it, and uh, try to get some ancient gear. But we got some interesting stuff. We got Link's new circlet item. We got that piece of barbarian gear. I hope we can get more of that by doing more of the mazes. It'd be cool to complete an item set that way. There's just so many things we can still get in this game that I'm super excited for. I wanna get them soon. Anyways, let's go into the safety of this place. Hello, beep, familiar name missing. Okay, so how much is the gear again? 2,000 each isn't actually too bad. Um, we need a little bit more, of course, but uh, we'll get there. I think it's gonna be more important than the weapons at the moment, because I'll be tempted to use them, and then we'll be taking up inventory slot. I wanna get them eventually, don't get me wrong, uh, just not now. So, I need to get a little bit more cash, and the best way to do that is to continue exploring, and yeah, get some other stuff that way. So I could go ahead and do another maze, but at this point I don't know if I'll have enough time for today's episode, trying to shoot for about an hour as usual. So we're gonna go to our normal Terry Town, probably sell a few pieces of ore that I've gotten throughout today's episode. I think we could probably make maybe a couple hundred rupees, maybe a thousand, that way we can maybe buy our first you know, ancient tech gear, because I think that's gonna be important again. Some of you let me know though, and I think I've talked about it before, that some of the amiibo might even have a chance of giving you that gear as well. So like, I feel like maybe I should hold on, Either way, I need to buy arrows, I need to uh, sell rocks, so maybe I won't go buy the gear. But I definitely wanna get those amiibos soon. <laughs> I don't own amiibos right now, but I want to eventually. Anyways, if we go ahead, I have the circlet on right now. There's a lightning storm, and that's dangerous. So let's just go ahead and get the uh, helmet on, the uh, thunder helm. Because that should make me lightning proof, which will be great. Okay, so let's get to it. Terry Town, here I come! We're getting to you. And I should have what? Three orbs at the moment? How many orbs do I have? Because if I have three, I just need to get one more, which would be nice. Maybe we should finish off the, today's episode with that. That would be good. Oh gosh. So this should not be a problem. I have the Thunder Helm. If it electrocutes me, I'm gonna be upset. Oh boy. Oh boy, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Yeah, we're fine. We're totally fine. Okay. So are any of the stores up during this awful weather? All of them are. What do you know? They're hardworking business people. That makes sense. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and check this out. Oh, can I read this? Slippery Falcon, Terrytown Branch. Cool, I like it. Um, these are bomb arrows. I don't want these, I want normal arrows. Like these over here. We can buy a bunch of them. I'll take them all, five of them, uh, 175 rupees. Plenty good price for the arrows I'm getting. I have uh, almost 60 of them now. And then for you, I need to sell. So let's go ahead and start selling. Hey, hey, Big Bro Grayson's friend. Need something? I came to sell. What do you want to sell? Um, so I want to take a look. Let's organize our inventory. We have a lot of amber. We have a lot of opals. I have a couple of you know ruby sapphires, that kind of stuff. I think I'll keep to like 15 of each ruby sapphire. I think that would probably be pretty good. So if I sell six of these, and that'll give me 1,260 rupees, pretty good. Um, no, I don't want to sell any more rupees, but I do want to sell some sapphire. Uh, I just wanna sell one, or no, two, so we can get down to 15. 520 rupees for it, that's fantastic. Um, and then for this other stuff that we have large volumes of, like the Luminous Stone, like you have 37 of them. I don't think I'll need more than 30. So let's go ahead and sell seven of them, 490 rupees, sounds nice. And we'll just you know use this money for whatever we might need it for. Um, 180, we'll also just have 20 of these, so that should be 720 rupees, awesome. 
And then for this other stuff, like I don't think we need more than 25 Ember. Like I don't even know if we'll need it in general. Maybe I should be selling all of it. But I try to stay on the safe side just in case there's a quest I might need. And we'll just keep that as you know, 25, 25. So there's a couple thousand more rupees for us. We're at 4,000 now, isn't that great? And like, there's a couple of other stuff, but I really want to save it for uh, other things for sure. I think we want to just mostly save it for, uh, what's it called? Um, for different, you know, crafting materials and stuff. Because I think we still need to get a level three for our uh, main helmet. Like we have three stars, three stars, two stars. I think I need more Hinox guts. But I'm not the double check. Desert foe trousers. Yeah, these are, yeah, these are interesting. I wanted to try these, they look awesome. I also wanted to go ahead and get this, thank you. We have another sledgehammer now. How much are they in total? 450. Uh, they also give us heat resistance. I mean, this is more fashion, so, because we already have something that serves that purpose, so I probably shouldn't right now, but I should look into it at some point. So yeah, there's still lots of places I can explore, things I can, places I can do some things that I haven't yet done. Tons of stuff. It just It's an overwhelming amount of stuff, and I'm just trying to think, like, what's the next best step for me? I could try going to the Typhio Ruins, because this is just an area I have full-on not explored. I don't know what these blue, are these supposed to be clouds? It sort of looks like it. It's like this weird mist that covers this whole area. So many different places I can explore. I'm like, maybe you'd just be smarter, though, to do something, like, I, just, I never know, you know? There's too much. Like, there's a maze down here, and if I go, I think there's a maze on the bottom right somewhere. Because I know about the maze on the top right, maze on the top left, maze on the bottom left, and I don't know where the, if there is a fourth maze, where could that be? But I'm pretty sure there's four mazes. I don't know, we'll have to find out at some point or another. But yeah, it's just sort of figuring out what I want to do now, just sort of poking around. I figure, well, you know what, we're just gonna do some shrines. I have the Korug Shrine right here. This is in the uh, village of all the Kokiri, or whatever they're called, I think they're called Kokiri. A little, uh, Koroks, yeah, Koroks or Kokiri, right? I think so. Regardless, we'll go there. I know there's a shrine waiting for us. This one's been on our to-do list for a while. We might as well check it out. Might be a chest shrine, because it was at the very end where we get the Master Sword. It might be an actual shrine, too. I don't know, but might as well check it out and find out together. You know, just take a look, see how things go. And we have a lot of shrines just like this one that we have activated, but we have not actually explored yet. I have no idea what's inside of them. But if we do just this one, we should be able to get extra stamina already. So, extra shrines in today's episode sounds pretty good to me. Scorching climates, we know all about those. We've explored them. Critical hit when using weapons with this bonus. Yeah, the last hit is a critical? Interesting. Um, Fateful stars. Oh, what is this? Look to the stars for guidance. The constellations are the key. These stars, look at these constellations on. Okay. Oh, this is tricky. Couple things I noticed, one, if you take a look, each constellation is different, of course, and they sometimes match up like this, right here, this one on the far right, is sort of an inverse of this one. Yeah, actually, it's not even inversed, it's just slightly rotated. Um, well, I guess it rotated about like 180 degrees or something. But then also we have these different lanterns, which are counting up for something, one, two, three, four, five. But what do those numbers matter? I don't know. And we have two balls right here, and two balls there. Maybe we should put these balls in random spots and see what the action is, like what happens. And maybe that'll sort of give me an, a better idea of what I'm supposed to do. So you go, I put that there. It doesn't seem to have like any kind of visual status of what's being accomplished. Because there's not like any kind of clear order for these ones, they're just sort of scattered about. So what's that idea? What is the numbering system about? Maybe it is just like whatever one's closest to the bottom, if so, like that one would be one. Like this one would be the first one. Like there's clearly an order for them. So like, oh, I was going first person mode while I was holding stuff. Wait. I don't know if that's correct though. I think this one's gonna be one. I mean, maybe I'm totally wrong with this, but I think that there's, each one is supposed to be a specific number. So that's the first one. The second one, what's the next one closest to the ground? I mean, this one, or to the four, yeah, I guess it would be this one. And then, this design is definitely the farthest up, so that one would be four. 
and this one would be three. But I think that's what we have to solve. Maybe it's in a different order, but I think that's what we have to do. If that's the case though, right? If it's just sort of one per number, how many different factors are there? That means there's like what? 24 different possible options of what it could be? Okay, I just don't really know. Yeah, it's so weird. Like, what is what do the numbers have to do with it? Unless this is something like totally arbitrary, like how many points it has. Like, obviously, some of these have more than more, more than four points. But maybe it's from like least to greatest. Like, this one would be number one because it only has three points. This one is has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, like, actually, it would still be the same number we have going on right now because these have the two least and then third, fourth. So that's not correct. <laughs> Actually, now that I look at it though, oh, there are five slots, but we only have four balls. So what's the point of that? Yeah, that that is so weird. So that's definitely not the what I'm trying to be doing here. But what is what I'm trying, okay, this one, this one's going right over my head. Can I just Revali's Gale over there? That'd be great. What is over here? Maybe there's more info. This way. I mean, I see him, he's like, yo, what's up? Solve this already, I'm bored. But I can't, cause it's nonsense. <laughs> I don't get it. Like, I mean, I know there's obviously a connection. I mean, one thing I notice is that there's more than one of these. Is there more than one, like, like there's this one here, this one there. Is there more than one of the other? Yes, there is actually. Okay. Then, then maybe I'm getting somewhere. Where is the one that is shaped like that? That one's on the far right. What does that matter though? What can I do? Like, cause there's no numbers associated with these. But I would say it's about right in the middle. So I would say the, the second or the third one, I guess is yeah, number three is in the middle of five. But what about this one that's orientated like that? That is where? That's not anywhere on here. And we have a couple of things, but none orientated like that. Like we have this one, which is the closest to it. I feel like that doesn't matter. That, that has nothing to do with what we're trying to accomplish in a way. The same thing with this one. Oh, I get it. I get it. I am so not smart. There's one, two, three, four, five of them. <laughs> I overthought this so badly, so badly. There's one, two, three, three of them, right? Three of them, yeah. I so overthought that. I thought that it had to do with something with the like the correlation between the two, like maybe their placement or something. No, it's just how many are there? Oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed now. <laughs> oh well, at least I can laugh about it. If you get a good laugh about it, doesn't matter how much of a dingus you look like. We got two over here of the long one then. So that's the solution. It's just how many of them are of each. I'm pretty sure. We're about to find out. That's it, yep. As clear as day. Well, I guess in this situation, since they're constellations, it's as clear as night. But you get the idea. We solved it. Oh my gosh, how embarrassing. Just how embarrassing. Oh, what's this about? Oh, look at this, puzzle number two. I like this. Okay, so how many are there of the smaller ones? There's four of the smaller ones, one of the long one, three of the medium sized one, and four, uh, or one of the bushel sized one. Okay, so it will go. Four, was it four, two, right? Four, two, one, two. Four, two, one, two, four, two, one, two. We should be able to solve that. Move back this way. And that one needs to go there, that one needs to go here. Okay, four, two, one, two. That should be fine. Four, well actually it would be four, two, two, one, yeah. I sort of messed up the order of that because there were definitely two of the bushel looking ones. Like, it looks like a little tree, bushel kind of thing. And then there was only one of the long ones. So it would be four, two, two, one. Got it, oh wait, hold on. Nice, 
and then Got it. Luckily, this doesn't unsolve this, so I can actually go through. And that was it. Awesome. So we got ourselves some kind of treasure chest. Might not be what I'm looking for, but hey, at least I got it. So let's let the camera zoom back in and check this out. What do I got? Ooh, it is a royal. Whoa, 70 damage royal claymore. That's actually really, really good. Nice. Okay, so we'll take that. And we'll go ahead and get our fourth spirit orb as well. That'll give us some extra stamina wherever we want to get that. Thank you, thank you. And yeah, let's take a look at this. So yeah, we don't have to listen to any of this. We've already listened to it many times over. But that was a tough shrine, but I'm so happy I figured out how to solve it. I was about to give up. I'm like, okay, I can't waste any more time on this, right? But then it hit me how clearly obvious it was. <laughs> I'm glad I figured it out. I think I'm gonna go for more stamina though. Like, I don't think I need too much more health at this point. Like, I mean, obviously it's helpful, but at the same time, stamina seems like I'm still at this point where I could use more stamina and it wouldn't hurt. So I'm gonna go for a third bar and see what ends up happening. But yeah, let's go for this. I just have to wait for everything to load. We'll probably go to Hatino Village or anywhere that might have, um, cause I don't know, yeah, I don't think there's a shrine here. Maybe we'll poke around a little bit. Uh. Is there a little shrine here? Oh, right here? No, these are just little pillars. They're not actually the shrine things to get me extra stamina. I'm pretty sure there is one around though. I feel like we've used it before. I just have to look for it. I mean, this whole area I really haven't explored as much as I probably should. It's so laggy. <laughs> Doesn't make me want to explore it. Is this the way we entered? Wait, that was the other way though. Maybe not. Like, yeah, I think we came in from this way. I wonder where this other stuff leads. I gotta figure that out soon. Man, it is super laggy. Okay, it's start like it, it, there are some places where it's really bad, other places where it's not so bad. Okay. I mean, I just sort of like exploring this area too. That's nice. But I feel like I definitely need to explore the maybe that's what we'll do next episode. We'll explore this area a little bit better. Uh in the meantime now, it might be in the little tree trunk. Maybe that's what I'm remembering. Complete the trials. Oh, hey, us Koroks all got together and prepared some trials just for you, Master Hero. Although you may not need them since you already pulled the Master Sword out and all, but these trials will help you grow even stronger than you are now. Among them is an extra tough one designed by me, the elder of the Koroks, the forest. Uh, Sure, I'll do it. You know, if you keep doing everything everyone asks of you without question, you're gonna get conned eventually. Anyway, where was I? Oh yeah, the Korok trials. Long story short, you need to visit all the shrines in the Korok Forest so that you can be considered a real grown-up. Trial one, in the Southwest Forest, the trial of the second sight. Trial two, in the Northwest Forest, the trial of the, pil the lost pilgrimage. <laughs> trial three, in the Eastern Forest, the test of wood. If you, can come, if you can overcome the Korok trials, you can overcome anything. We've also prepared some wonderful prizes for you. Now show us what you're made of. All right, do your best. I'm pretty sure I've completed one of them. Oh, here we go. Uh, trial one. The Southwest Forest, uh, okay, he's just gonna retell them to me. So I guess I only get a reward once I do all of them. I thought that I already, had already activated that quest. Who was that? Leave it to Maka. Ah, Mr. Hero, I was watching you pull out the sword. If you want to know more about the sword, leave it to Maka. Okay, bye. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I need to explore this forest a lot more, and maybe that's something we can get a good start with in the next episode. Talk. Oh, hello, I didn't know I could talk to you. When used against Calamity Ganon, or those tinged with its malice, the Master Sword will shroud itself in light. It is then that the true power of the sword will manifest, but you cannot rely solely on the power of the blade. If you swing it about, it about recklessly, it will forget its purpose and be rendered powerless for a time. So yeah, if it just loses its durability. Should this happen, you must wait for the sword to recover. The Master Sword waited for you a hundred years. Wield it with respect. Wield it to save the one who waits for you. I would most like to see her smiling face again. The Lost Princess. Okay, so, yeah, not too much he's actually gonna tell me. But let's just check in here real quick to see if I can not upgrade my stamina from in here. I don't know if that's true or not, if I'm getting that confused. Looks like I've gotten that confused. I don't know where we can do that, but we'll find out and more in the next episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Zebra Constellations on you've watched at the end of the you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Out of the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.